Hello and welcome to the 23rd tutorial in the HTML Basics tutorial series and in this tutorial we're going to look at the ID attribute which allows you to basically assign a unique ID to an element and style it in CSS or if you're using JavaScript actually locate that ID, that element and manipulate it, do something with it. This tutorial assumes you've done tutorial 22. If you haven't there'll be a link in the description to the source code and as usual there'll be a link in the description to the source code produced from this tutorial. I'm going to go ahead and open up the source code or the web page and text data from tutorial 22. Uh, here we go. Um, first of all I'm just going to also open up the web page so you can see what it looks like. There we are. we got some text that says hello world and it's been styled using this color hash 00ff33 which is a hexadecimal color value. Uh, for Personally, this video is going to put it as red just to keep it simple. Refresh again, and now it's red. And what we're going to do is do a div tag. Within there, we're just going to put hello. It doesn't really matter what you put in there. And now we're just going to put id. Oops, shouldn't have deleted div there. Put in id equals quotation marks. And in there, we put the unique identifier. I'm just going to call it hello. And what I'm going to do, oopsie baby, I'm just going to duplicate this line. I'm going to name the ID to hello2. Then here, I'm going to style each of the elements that have an ID, so hello and hello2. Because body is actually an element, a tag, you just put body, don't put anything in front of it. But if you want to style an ID, what you do, you put, you put hash. Then you put the name of the ID, so hello. Then in there you put how you want to style it. I'm just going to change the color simply. I'm going to change this to blue. And then for the hello2, I'm just going to change this to yellow. So what we should have, we should have this text appear which will be in red because the entire body has been styled as red and then we'll have this text with the ID hello appear which will be styled blue even though red has been applied to everything CS because this is CSS this styling that we're doing we stand for cascading style sheets basically any sort of styling that you have at the bottom or after any styling above will occur so as you can see here, we got some style in here, color red. The the text will be colored red, and then it will be colored blue for the hello, and hello too will be colored yellow. So it basically just cascades down. That's how it works. If you have any more questions regarding this, feel free to message us or Google it, and you should be able to find out plenty of information. I'm going to open up the HTML page and refresh, and there we go. We got the red text. The blue text and the yellow text on right click and inspect elements so you can actually see the text. So we have that text and it says color red on the body, so we can say with that color by default it goes to black. But if we go to hello and it says color blue. But if we were to disable that, it now turns to red because the color from the body has now cascaded down, as the name suggests. So that's it for the ID attribute. It's a unique identifier for your element. In the next tutorial, we're gonna look at the class attribute. All the required source code will be in links in the description. If you have any questions, feel free to ask, and thanks for watching.